Midterms are next Tuesday, and seniors, don't wait until May to get your service hours turned in. Start volunteering now. There's a lot going on tonight, so let's send it to sports with Kevin and Tyler. Hey guys, there are plenty of games going on right here. The volleyball game against Monroe Central tonight, and tennis will host Bluffton. Girls soccer faces Oak Hill, and golf will tee off at the Portland Country Club against Delta Eagles. There will also be a boys soccer game tonight at Blackbird, so everyone come out to that. In national news, Andy Roddick, an Olympic gold medalist, headed into retirement after a loss to Juan Martin Del Potro of Argentina in the fourth round at Flushing Meadows on Wednesday. He even gave an on-court speech saying, for the first time in my career, I'm not sure what to say. Another national news, the Reds lost to the Philadelphia Phillies, even though all-star first baseman Joey Votto returned. Well, that's all we have for sports today, so let's send it back to the host. Thanks. Good luck tonight, everyone. Speaking of sports, don't forget to purchase your student super tickets from the athletic office for $30. Mr. Hallbaker will be in the Commons on Fridays from 8 to 8.15 for any student that would like to schedule a driving test. If you've been out after dark recently, don't forget to the repellent. Here's Bria and Chelsea to tell us why. The West Nile virus breakout has been climbing in numbers. Health officials now report 2,118 cases and 92 deaths as of Wednesday, a jump of 25% since last week. More deaths and cases have been expected to occur. Lyle Peterson, the director of the Division of Vector Bone Infectious Disease states that this will probably go into October. There are cases in 44 states and they are hitting hard in Texas, resulting in 1,000 and 13 cases and 40 deaths. 45% of cases have been reported from Texas. About 20% of people infected have fever, headaches, body aches, nausea, vomiting, and sometimes swollen glands. That's all we have for headlines, so let's get back to the host. Thanks guys, that West Nile virus is AZ Cray. Faux sure. show. Well, now is the time to order your yearbook for this school year. They are $39 until September 21st, and after that date, they'll be $50. Now let's go to Thayer Bear I'm and Abdog Ab for <laughs> <laughs> news. Thanks, guys. In today's top stories, I got some crazy info on the world's smallest computer com capacitor. Capitor are devices that store electricity <laughs> and used in about every gadget, including smartphones, laptops, parts of hybrid cars, mechanical, medical equipment, and digital cameras. The, news capitor, the new capitor was made in Japan by the Moretta Manufacturing Company in a tiny, is tiny as a period at the end of a sentence. And with it, is being so, with it being so small, it is very difficult to mass produce and find new products designed to use it. Although it may be a while, we'll see even thinner devices with the longer battery life in the near future. Now back to our host. Thanks girls, that is some crazy stuff with the future. Now let's send it to Josh Apu and E.T. Abigail, getting mad. <laughs> Alright, thanks Jenna Squared. The meat dress worn by Lady Gaga in the 2010 MTV VMAs is being dried and painted to restore its original meat color. It will be displayed at the National Museum of Women in the Arts. She wore the meat dress to make a political statement of the don't ask, don't tell policy and started, stated that someone didn't stand up for their rights, then they'd be treated like a piece of meat. The summer's hottest hits are Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe at number one and Maroon 5's Payphone at number two. And today's celebs' birthdays are Jeff Foxworthy and Idris Elba. Let's all send it back to the host. Thanks, Joshy Poo. <laughs> Next Monday, September 17th, Manchester College will be visiting September 19th. The University of St. Francis will be here. And lastly, the University of Indianapolis will be here Thursday, September 20th. Another beautiful day today, so let's see if it'll continue. Thanks guys, it is a nice day, but the weather will change by tomorrow. Well, let's look at our five day forecast. Today we have a high of 84 and a low of 57. Today, or tomorrow we have a high of 80 and a low of 68. Saturday we have a high of 68 and a low of 48. 
Sunday we have a high of 69 and a low of 49, and Monday we have a high of 73 and a low of 52. Well, it looks like we'll have clear weather for the sports tonight, but that's all I have here, so let's send it back to the host. Congratulations to the King and Queen um, candidates. The King candidates are Tyler Back, Alex Dunn, Ben Himmelgarn, Brockton Miller, Ravi Patel, Raceland Rice, and Kyle Segrist, and Trent Whitenick. The Queen candidates are Abby Broering, Alexis Cook, Gabby Cross, Hannah Pfeiffer, Anna Mullenkamp, Julie Valentine, Cora Weaver, and Hannah Ainsworth. So congratulations, guys. Let's say a happy birthday to Pride Duncan today. Happy birthday. <laughs> Lunch for Friday is taco salad, refried beans, peaches, and milk. Yum. Well, Anyways, stay classy, Jay County. Later. See ya.